So that probably took me all of 10 minutes. Yeah, I still have some dishes to do. I'm not gonna show you that, that's boring. But the reality that I'm finding is that if I just spent 15 minutes multiple times a day and set a, time, set a timer to do it, I would have a really clean house. Okay, so I did my devotion video. Still have some purging to do. See this right here? Yeah. But I, it's like, oh, look at my hallway. See these paint cans? constant disarray in here um, in our Facebook group you found the first week one schedule and in part of week one you find the little rooms that need help you don't get so overwhelmed you don't have to go all big you can go big I'm probably gonna go bigger than most but the goal is to start with these things little areas viewable visible areas that need attention and then the stuff that's not as viewable, maybe like bedrooms and stuff, they get the attention in the following weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this. <sighs> So I just realized that I haven't eaten breakfast or lunch yet, and it's already 12:19. By the way, this is my fixer upper kitchen. Ha ha ha! Isn't it beautiful? And also, you're going to see the mess of wires. And also, my kitchen has zero. Um, these cabinets don't have any doors. These cabinets do. The wallpaper needs to finish coming off. It's just yucky and disgusting. The bottom. I mean, they're so, it's so out of date. It's ridiculous. But it's a project that we're hoping to get to very, very soon. Um, my project is to maybe shiplap or put beadboard on this wall and then just do shelving rather than cabinets, um, which will free up a lot of space. But anyhow, I had realized it's already 1219. Here's what I've done today. I have gotten up. I got dressed. I washed my hair. I made the bed. I did devotion. This is Monday of week one. I... Um, got homeschool done. I got my dishes done. I put them in the drying rack, which they're not there right now. Um, got the devotion up on YouTube. And after all of this stuff had been said and done, I vacuumed a little bit. Um, it's already past 12 o'clock and I realized I haven't eaten breakfast and I haven't eaten lunch. And this is a bad thing because homemaking isn't just about cleaning. It's about taking care of yourself and your family. And if you're not taking yourself, you can't pour yourself out. So <clears throat> when, before I started this video, there was a pile of dishes here and I needed a plate to put my salad on, but the dishes were here. So instead of rummaging through the dishes to find a plate and put the plate here and leaving the dishes here, I made a conscious decision to put the dishes away and then grab a plate from the dish rack and make my lunch is what I'm going to do next. So my biggest, biggest issue this week is my living room. I'm going to show you this. Now this hasn't been here for very long. This crap, a lot of this stuff fell over. Um, a lot of this stuff is here. We brought it up from the basement. Everyone said they didn't want it. They were going to purge it. It was going to go to the dump. It never got there. <music>
So I got up this morning and my house is basically a wreck again. Um, and it's because I didn't do my 15 minute cleanup before dinner last night. Yeah. So this is a really sucky time for this to happen, but my microphone on my iPhone isn't working. And I don't use my cell phone enough to really get a new one yet. So it works sometimes, other times it doesn't, but I'm gonna have to use my thing here from now until I get another one. So anyhow, so I did my 30 minute cleanup. It was more like a 20, 25 minute cleanup. I'm dressed, I got my hair done. I'm gonna go let the chickens out. Um, yesterday, I did not get to finish the living room. Um, I finished a lot of it, but I didn't get to finish all of it. As you saw, I still have the blue totes that need to go in the attic um, and a few other things that need to be done. So I am going to try and finish that today. Um, I'm going to try and get some laundry done today. That was on day one, too. I didn't get it done yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and do it today. Um, and, you know, we I actually had to leave yesterday with Mark. We went to a job site, a potential job site, and so I, that's why I didn't get it done. Um, but also, I didn't get hardly any work done yesterday. And so today I'm going to kind of give myself a little bit of grace. It's Tuesday. Um, I need to get some work done. I have a book proposal I have to finish. I have an article I have to finish. I have a newborn photo session I have to finish. Junior is not here with me today. It's 7.43 in the morning. I've already gotten a lot of stuff done. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of grace. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and work until lunchtime. If I can set my timer to 11 o'clock, um, that makes me more accountable of myself and makes me remember, okay, well, I've been doing this eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've been doing it for three hours. So I only have three hours to do work. I can't piddle around, so I've got to do it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get all the chickens out and I'm going to get started on work. Just listen, are you listening? It's Tuesday. I have sucked at home clean, at homestead homemaking today. I had every intention, like I got up, I'm like, yeah, let's do this thing. I did my dishes. I did my 30 minute clean this morning, which is starting, eh, table's mostly clean. It is 1.52. Not bad, I still got a lot of time, right? But I have to go take my Tahoe to get my Tahoe worked on. And that means that I need to go clean my Tahoe out. So I am back from... Those blue totes are still there. They eye me in every video. Tuesday ended up being a little more productive than I thought. So it's Wednesday morning and I got it. Um, I made breakfast, lunch, and coffee for Mark for work. And then I was pleasantly surprised since I did my 15 minute nightly cleanup last night on Tuesday night, um, I didn't have any dishes in the sink. And I woke up to clean countertops and he had a place to eat his breakfast on the table, on a clean table. And it was really like, whew, that overwhelming feeling is gone. Like, thank the Lord. So in the midst of getting ready to do my clean, we got some cool stuff in the mail. A friend of ours who's actually been a dairy farmer his whole life, um, commercial dairy, like hardcore commercial dairy, um, sent me a sample of the Stockman Grass Farmer. And actually, Joel Salton was recently announced the executive editor, I think, of this. So it's kind of fun. I'm going to go through it. It's more based on commercial farming, but I don't know. It's kind of like a good break in the day. But So I'm going to go through that, and then I'm going to get started on cleaning. Okay, so paint cans, paint cans are just going to have to stay there because 
I don't have anywhere else to put them. Once again, the issues of living in a house that's in a constant disarray because of projects. Projects and cleaning up after people. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so this box is actually a review box. I need to do something with that. Probably should do the review. But here is Mark's greatest pet peeve. It's actually mine too. This is only a day and maybe a few hours of the next day's worth of clothes. You see this? And everybody piles it in the hallway. And we only have three people in this house. There's a clothes hamper in each bedroom. But instead, everybody wants to put it in the hallway, including myself. So I need to clean that up. But They don't have a place and I need a place for them. Our closets are, our closets are pretty small. Okay. So I've got blankets and quilts and stuff already up in there. You know, I've got storage space and shoes. So our closets are, are pretty small. Mark has a closet. I have a closet. Junior has a closet. Then we have the hallway closet here, but that's mostly for the bathroom. I did kind of skim through the bathroom real quick while I was in here, but the bathroom stays pretty clean. So you know what's really hard? What's really hard is when you like to homestead and you have this greenhouse right here staring you in the face with your brand new little soil blocker and your seeds ready to go, but you gotta clean the house. All right, it is Thursday morning, y'all. Did my quick clean. Did Southern Mama's coffee break this morning. Um, and now I'm gonna go plant seeds. Getting ready. All right, guys, I'm cutting out early. It's 5.28 today, I'm cutting out early because I don't wanna have to fool with recording stuff. <laughs> Um, I do need to do, I'm probably going to do a 30 minute quick cleanup tonight. I, I neglected my table today um, and I haven't got my dishes done. Thankfully there's not dishes. Normally, normally the sink is piled up and there's dishes in the drain board. But I've been getting really good about that. So right now I'm cooking dinner. I am making homemade chicken tacos. I will link up here. You have to try these tacos because... They are amazing. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do my quick cleanup. And then I'm gonna relax today. Um, I spent some time in the hammock earlier today, which I did not get on video, but I probably spent about 20 minutes laying in the hammock. It's so nice outside. And you know what? We all deserve a little bit of rest. We all deserve to take time and regain some consciousness and peace and focus. Um, if you are too busy to relax for 30 minutes each day, then you are too busy. God never made us to be so busy 
that we didn't have time to regain, regain some energy and uh, regain some sanity. Happy Friday! It's the end of the first week. I've learned a lot about myself this week. I have learned a lot of do's and don'ts for myself this week when it comes to cleaning. And one of those don'ts is maybe um, on a down day, like don't get too lazy on down day because it totally demotivated me all day yesterday and this morning. So, all right, I'm gonna get started with my Friday morning. I have, I have, have, have to do my 30 minute quick clean. If there's one thing during this whole process that I'm finding, it's I have to do a 30 minute quick clean in the morning because my house is always gonna be a disaster in the morning. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll get started with the day. it's Friday <clears throat> my house is by no means perfect but if you remember what this living room looked like before you would see that we did a I did a lot of work this week okay um, the living area has stayed clean minus the stuff right here that needs to go to the attic I can't help that that's nothing I can help there's no more stuff here but listen I'm not perfect I'm just showing you we're just being real there's nothing in the hallway except for old wood flooring that needs to be done. Junior's job is to clean his room today. You know, so people's stuff, mostly Mark's stuff, is kind of laying here. So I'm just going to quick clean this today. That's, look, I just cleaned that. I just cleaned it. Just cleaned it. And now it's still, it's cluttered again. But that's stuff that I need to put away. I'm going to put these pillows up here but as you can see for the most part other than stuff that just needs to be put in a place or put away in drawers the bedroom has remained clean I even cleaned this off mostly I'm not sure if you remember what that looked like but it's remained clean other than these things that need to go in a box and that hot mess right there um, not bad not as bad as it was. And so see, this is our goal is to, for it not to be as bad as it was the first week. The kitchen, you know, the kitchen's always gonna look like a hot mess because of that junk right there. And one day, prayerfully one day that'll be changed. Um, also, I have a small kitchen. And so when I haven't put the dishes away, I should have done this video after I put the dishes away. But when I haven't put the dishes away, it looks like a mess. And it's really not, it's really not a mess. Um, and then the only other thing, table's fairly clean. I mean, you can't, can't expect much from a house that's lived in and school work done there. I need to clean up this. This is my area today that I need to clean up. But for the most part, the house is, is doing great. My <clears throat> microphone on my phone isn't working, which I'm really kind of, um, bummed about. Who wants to donate to the Buy Amy a New iPhone Fund? That sounds like a good, uh, good GoFundMe fund, right? No, don't do that. Please don't. Anyhow, so let's let's go over the week. So some of you don't mind my mess of a hair. I didn't get to wash my hair this morning. Um, some of you have been going through this week while I'm going through this week, while Tangie and I are both going through this week. Others of you are waiting to start this coming Monday. So um, I'm going to go over the week with you. I'm going to go over the schedule, what our goal was this week and then go over the pros and cons and how we kind of, what I discovered about myself, and what has helped me along the week. Um, so let's start with our goal. Our goal this week was to really purge most of our rooms in our house. Um, I was able to do the kitchen, the living room, and our bedroom. Junior's going to be responsible for his own bedroom. The bathroom is um, 
it's always purged. I never really have to worry about the bathroom because I just, like I said, I like to keep a clean bathroom. So the bathroom is normally okay. Um, I did the basement. The day that I did my intro video, I actually purged a bit of the basement, but the basement needs to be done again. So I'm going to try to do that today, but um, I just don't know if I'll get around to it or even if I want to bother with it since we're going into the weekend and it's just going to need to be purged again on Monday. I... Every day, each day of your week needs to start with a 15 to actually it needs to start with a 30 minute quick clean. So we're calling these quick cleans. Um, what that looks like on a typical day, so like Tuesday through Friday and even Saturday and Sunday if you want, is that 30 minutes every morning right after you get up, after you make breakfast and all that stuff, you quick clean. Um, so normally that's going to look like your kitchen. So normally I've been quick cleaning my kitchen right after breakfast, right after lunch, and right after dinner. Um, but then it only takes you maybe 10 minutes to quick clean your kitchen. So that's why we did 30 minutes so that it can spill over into your living area. Well, maybe you need to vacuum. Maybe you just need to tidy some things up. Make, take, make a conscious effort to do a 30 minute quick clean every single morning after breakfast and all that is done right afterwards. Because if you sit down or you start doing something else, you're not gonna do it. And then you'll have more clutter to keep up with after that. Um, so quick clean after breakfast, and then we're trying to implement quick cleans after lunch and a quick clean after dinner. I would say um, you could get away with the quick clean lunch, click, what? Quick clean lunch time, though I encourage you to do it, but you cannot get away with the quick clean after breakfast and after dinner. Um, here's why. So when I have discovered that when I have a cluttered house, I am overwhelmed and I am cluttered and I did not discover that until this week. Oftentimes I'm feeling very overwhelmed, very um, bogged down and I've never really been able to pinpoint why other than maybe I just didn't want to do something. But I am finding that the more uncluttered my house becomes, the more uncluttered my overwhelming feeling becomes. And so I really felt a release and so much joy after I would quick clean in the morning and quick clean after dinner. Because you know what the awesome thing is? When you wake up in the morning, especially after you've done that quick clean the night before, and you wake up to a clean kitchen or a clean living room, it starts your day out so much better than when you wake up and there's dishes piled in the sink and there's dinner left over on the oven um, and there's toys in the middle of the living room. Like if you're starting your day in a cluttered house, it's just, it's over with. I know it is for me. It has been for me. I just, I'm in a bad grumpy mood all day. Why can't you pick your stuff up? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? But the reality is that when I quit clean, quick, 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 I mean, it's guys, you're taking an hour and a half out of your day basically to quit clean, but it's at three different times, 30 minutes here, 15 minutes there, 30 minutes here, whatever works for you and you're doing it and then you don't have to worry about it. Now the Mondays look a little bit different. Mondays are my catch all day because most of the time we're very busy on the weekends or we're not here on the weekends. Um, and so I need to clean up on Monday. Monday is like my clean and purge and clean everything day. Um, and it's still an overwhelming day for me. Um, and it's just because I'm not here to implement the quick cleans during the weekend. So, so I discovered on Monday and Tuesday, I was very, very motivated, very motivated to clean. Wednesday came and I was a lot less motivated. <laughs> um, Wednesday came and I was drudging. I'm like, oh, I just did it on Monday and Tuesday. Why do I have to do it again today? Wednesday was a really nice day and I wanted to do my seeds. I kept wanting to just go outside. And the more I kept thinking about wanting to go outside, the less I did inside. And then I just sat and I thought, okay, this is one of my heart issues. This is a self-control issue. I have a want that I want to do, which is this greenhouse sitting beside me planting seeds. But my need, my first and foremost need is to do my housework and to do any other little jobs that I have to do for the conference and writing um, and any other kind of work that I have to do. If I can get that stuff done, I can go outside and I can plant seeds. But because I drudged all day and didn't think of, want to think about it, didn't want to do it and I procrastinated, I couldn't reward myself with going outside with seeds. So when I finally realized that I should reward myself for my time well spent, I did my work. I did my work, I cleaned the house, I uncluttered, and I did my work. And then on Thursday, Thursday was even better, more beautiful day, 
I was able to go outside and, and plant my seeds and have fun in the dirt and get ready for gardening this year. So reward yourself. Find something that motivates you. The other thing that is motivating me to do this challenge is that I have the opportunity. I've been working with some publishers publishers over the past few weeks, and I had the opportunity to come up where a book idea that I have might be published. Can't tell you what it is. Can't tell you who's through or anything like that. But it's a very big possibility. I'll know the beginning of March. Um, but if that's approved, if the book is approved, it's gone through the first half of approval. If it goes through the second half of approval, then um, I'm not going to have as much time on my hands. And my husband literally said, well, if you don't have enough time to clean the house and keep up with your housework and do your garden and do the work that you have right now, then how are you going to have, how are you going to have time to write a book? So that is really, really motivating me too. you know, get your house in order, get on a schedule to which these quick cleans are really helping me a lot. And then you don't have that overwhelming. You're going to be more productive in everything else. You're going to be more productive in the things you want to do, the things you need to do, and the things you have to do. I really encourage you to motivate yourself. Maybe it's um, you go out to dinner on a Friday night after your your day. Uh, Maybe it's you get to sit down and read a book on Wednesdays or Thursdays. Maybe it's you get to lay in the hammock for 30 minutes each day. You know, the weather's getting nice. Whatever it is, motivate yourself. Give yourself some, you know, hello, hello. Give yourself some grace. So throughout the week, the week, this week one goal is to purge. Basically to to get your house, anything visibly cluttered or not in its place, to get that stuff taken care of this week. Week two is to continue the habit of quick cleaning. Um, You know, really, really growing that habit, letting it become second nature to you, um, and then try to purge other rooms, maybe some areas that aren't completely visible um, to you. Maybe it's a closet, maybe it's a pantry. Um, But then also something that I really wanted to add, a lot of us hate laundry. So in week one, week two, week three, you're gonna see that a lot of times there's one day where you're doing, you know, two loads, three loads of laundry, but you're not necessarily folding them and putting them away. You're washing them and drying them, but then the next day you're folding them and putting them away. I am finding that this is easier for me. If I wash and dry one day and then fold and put away the next, it's not as overwhelming to me. Uh, Week two also kind of gives you some downtime. Maybe if you've done your purges and and you've done your quick cleans, maybe you get to sit down for the afternoon at one day out of the week and read a book or play games with your kids or go on a field trip or do something like that. Maybe there's, you know, it's motivation. Okay, I get some downtime this day. Mom time, me time, wife time. I get some alone time, and but I have to get all of this done before I can do it. Um, there are some other things that I have no- learned about myself, and um, some of them have been pretty convicting. Um, while doing my quick cleans and cleaning up, um, I have discovered how bad I feel <laughs> about, about not doing this as often. Um, Oftentimes, I would blame it on other people. Well, you don't pick your shoes up out of the floor, and you don't pick your clothes up. And still, they still do that, and they need to learn that's not right. But I'm finding the more I keep the house clean, the more, a little bit more respected they are of a clean house, um, which has been kind of liberating and eye-opening because when, when the, the object of the story, the, the motive of the story, moral of the story, is basically that they didn't feel they haven't told me this, but I know this is how they feel. They didn't feel appreciated or they didn't feel taken care of. And you know men like feeling taken care of. Um, and because of that, it just subconsciously, it didn't matter whether they threw clothes on the floor or tracked dirt all in the house. It didn't matter because, you know, whatever. But now that I'm showing initiative to be a homemaker and be um, make this a peaceful and homey place. Now they're feeling more comfortable here and they're taking note. Okay. Well, mom worked so hard to clean the floor today. Maybe I will not throw my muddy boots on the floor. Uh, There's something to be said about when you are actively working hard and your hard work is really showing. Um, especially when they've known what you're like before. And here's the thing. I know there are families who, have a mom who has an immaculate house and they don't appreciate it. Um, And that's all they've known. But my family has known different. (laughs) 
I, you know, they've known a dirty house. My family has known clutter in a dirty house. But now that they're seeing changes, they're like, hey, you know what? Mom's changing. I'm changing too. Um, and so that there's that. But my family is taking note um, and really paying attention. So, yeah. So that's week one. I wanted to share with you all of that. I'm going to try to cut this video as much as I can. It's kind of long, but... I hope you guys are joining us. If you have not joined the Facebook group, please do, because that's where a lot of conversation happens. Uh, the weekly schedule is there. Um, and then if you're starting this week, so if you're starting on set Sunday or Monday, probably Monday this week, coming week, um, then you'll know, you know, quick cleans and schedule and all that. And I'll try to put week one schedule below as well in the description. Um, and then if you're getting ready to start week two with us, um, I really encourage you, if you're part of the Facebook group, to start posting pictures. Post before and after pictures. Take a video of yourself. You guys have seen these time-lapse videos. I tell you what, it helps. When I do a time-lapse of myself cleaning and then I go back and watch it, it motivates me to clean something else. Um, if you have a YouTube channel, even if it's just for you, time-lapse yourself cleaning during the day and post it on there and share it with us. Um, because we get to see what you're doing or post it on our Facebook page. We get to see what you're doing. We love that. It motivates all of us to clean. So it's like a little community of cleaning people who motivate each other. <laughs> um, so I encourage you to get active and get involved in the group, get active and involved on here and, uh, be honest, be raw and honest and show us what you're all about. So hope you like this series. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so you don't miss an episode and, um, we will see you next week on Monday for the Monday devotional. Happy homemaking! Thank you.